Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Martin and welcome back. So today we have yet more Destiny 2 info, it just keeps on coming. So this time we have a leak from Kotaku, whose sources have provided information on Destiny 2's first DLC. So again, spoilers if you don't want any of this ruined. There isn't really too many spoilery things in here, but just in case anybody doesn't want any of this ruined, turn away now. So, the first expansion is planned to launch in December, just three months after the game launches, which was kind of to be expected really, we already knew that it was going to be launching in December, and it's going to be called The Case of Osiris. Now, we already knew that this expansion was going to be about Osiris because of the logo on the expansion cover, it has the Eye of Osiris, but now we have the official name, The Case of Osiris. And according to Kotaku sources, this expansion will feature a patrol zone on Mercury, and the lighthouse is also going to make a return from Destiny 1 as a social space. Players who played Destiny 1 will know that the lighthouse could only be achieved by going flawless in the Trials of Osiris, but now it's going to be making a return as just a regular social space and I'm guessing this is where we might meet Osiris and where he could be set up as an NPC. Also according to their sources, the DLC story will revolve around saving Osiris. So it seems like we're definitely going to get to meet Osiris finally. I was a little worried that maybe the expansion will be more about maybe his legacy or maybe we wouldn't get to meet him and just only speak to some of his disciples. Just like how with the Trials of Osiris, we didn't actually get to meet Osiris. We actually gained access to the Trials through Brother Vance, one of Osiris' disciples. But here I guess we're actually going to get to meet him and we have to save him so he's in some kind of trouble. Now for those of you who maybe are new to Destiny and haven't played Destiny 1 and don't know who Osiris is, essentially he was a warlock who was banished from the city because he essentially became obsessed with his research on the Vex, the time travelling alien robots in Destiny, and we haven't seen him since. So this is very exciting, so this is going to be a very exciting expansion, especially for lore buffs like myself, so I cannot wait to see what happens here. Also, the name of the expansion itself is pretty interesting, The Curse of Osiris. I wonder what this could mean, or what the curse could be. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Now, back in December of 2014 was when the first DLC launched for Destiny 1, that was The Dark Below, and that was a pretty big letdown of an expansion. There was very little content for what people paid, and left a lot of people upset, but according to Kotaku sources, for Destiny 2's DLC, Activision has promised bigger and better things. So fingers crossed, we get a lot more content this time round. Now for the other bit of news from today, Bungie released a short teaser of the upcoming live action trailer for Destiny 2, which is going to be releasing tomorrow, that's Thursday, at 10am Pacific, 6pm UK time. So yet again we're getting another live action trailer, which was kind of to be expected. Eric Hershberg, the CEO of Activision, actually posted a picture of him a while back wielding the exotic auto rifle Sweet Business, and so finally here we get a very short teaser of what's to come. It's just our Guardians loading their weapons, but it's very exciting nonetheless and I can't wait to see this trailer. So that is all for this video, we are just 6 days away from the release of Destiny 2 now, that's kind of ridiculous to think, it feels like just the other week was the Destiny 2 reveal event, it's ridiculous how fast time has gone by, and I'm going to be waiting anxiously to get back on the grind. Anyway, as always, thank you all very much for watching, I do hope that you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you next time.